Hello and welcome to this brand new let's play of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Um, I'm doing this with a mod called Oblivion Lost which adds a load of stuff back into the game. I'm also using a load of graphics mods for those who wonder and a few other bits to make it look a bit nice and run a bit better. Now, uh, generally speaking, this uh, I've played this before so I know what's coming, it's not a blind playthrough. It's also probably one of the scariest games I've ever played, personally, so... I hope you get soaked into the atmosphere and the scene of the thing, so... Let's get started. Can be playing on the hardest difficult setting, because, well, that's the way to play Stalker, isn't it? seems to be alive. What a lucky guy. At least death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You are lying. Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here. I think, for this one, I can give you... One, I saved you, and I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do some jobs for me, and we're even. Besides, keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. Now, see what I can find out about it. I don't give a shit why you want to find this relic guy. I mind my own business. If you want to kill him, well, you must have your reason. What are you standing there? The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with all the rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker and I give you a mission straight away. There you go, that's pretty much set the scene for the game. Uh, we have a sort of a mystery truck, you get struck by, look like a lightning bolt. Man finds you, and there you are, the marked one. We, bought, we got back to the trader, back at the very start of the zone. Now, the zone, for those who are wondering, is an area of, uh, rip, sort of, the, sort of, exclusion zone around the Chernobyl, sort of, uh, Pripyat power plant explosion. In this universe, it went off twice instead of once. It kind of melt down the first time, then a mysterious explosion happened the second time. So, we're gonna tell them we're just gonna give a mission. Got a job for you, Mark One. So we can get started. I want you to find a stalker called Nimble. He was carrying some very important information. You don't say. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. 
He certainly knows where that guy can be. So, that's our mission. Find Nimble. And that's it. Now we can leave. Now, I'm using some texture add-ons for um, the game. It's still an well, odd-looking game. Good hunting, stalker. Thank you. It's an odd-looking game, but it has its own charm. I think it looks quite nice in its own way. Yoink. So, first thing to do is, let's show you what we got. So, we have our knife. Use it to stab people. They get a bit upset if we get too close. We have a pistol. We have a pistol. No, apparently I don't have a pistol yet. Um, let's put the knife away. I'll show you the pistol when we get it. But you know what a pistol is. It's a pistol. Hello, sir. Our boss here wanted to see you. That doesn't make you a welcome guest. Uh, you can ask him to tell you something interesting. And I'll usually tell you. Think of this kindergarten. Preschool, even. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is the basic area of the zone. Well, you should not hang around, really. This is, uh, a man wolf. Hello, wolf. I need to see Nimble. Do you know where I can find him? Uh, I'm not going to read it all unless you guys particularly want me to, so you can. It's at a high enough resolution, you should be able to see it fine. You don't rescue your own people from prison? Not what I call friendly. Uh, he's basically just. Well, he's a, read that. Right, we're gonna, basically, we're going to have to meet up with his uh, group. He's going to now phone them. Мужики, я к вам посылаю человека. Действуйте по обстоятельствам. Если за счете нужным, атакуйте. Mm -hmm, I agree. Yep. Хорошо, волк, присылай. Indeed. Только пусть не мельтешит здесь. Конец связи. He told them we're on the way. Now, before we do that, there is something I want to get from here. So, we need to sneak around here, climb on top of the roof, and with any luck, not screw this up. Ow. Right. You'll see me quick saving a lot in this game. It's how we roll in the land of Stalker. Now what I need to do is sneakily cut this box here. Like so. And hope. Yes, there we go. Now, what we got here is a Merc suit. In the original non-modded version of Stalker, you'd have a Stalker suit here, but uh, it's still a hell of a lot better than we've, what we normally have. So, anyway. Right, let's put this away before we get in trouble. You can't actually have weapons out when approaching people, because funny enough they get a little bit sour about it. Look, watch. Hello, sir. Have a gun. Um, oh, well, let me get my gun out yet. Okay. Okay, normally if I got a gun out and stuck in his face, he'd get a little bit upset. Okay, welcome to the zone. Meet with wolf's people. Now, we push P, we got our PDA. You can see the map here. Uh, it's very unwieldy and extremely unhelpful. And we can't zoom out particularly efficiently either. So, we can do this somewhat to... Uh, Get a better view of the area. This is where we're heading. This is the uh, area. These are loan screens. Good times? Good times. And now... Now we continue. Come on, really? There we go. Right. A pistol. You've all seen one of these before. I'm... Hoping it won't get me killed. Right. Let me show you what the bolt does. The bolt's on number six. Now, if you think you can't walk somewhere safe, it's a good way of testing. Using the bolt. I believe that came from the movie of the same name, where they they did exactly the same things to test for anomalies. Now, if you see any stuttering in the game, that's unfortunately Stalker in a nutshell. It loves to micro stutter when it loads areas uh, because the basic the X-ray engine, while impressive, is, has its moments where nothing ever works properly. Oh, good. Our resident mutants are over there. There's a Chimera and a few pseudo dogs. Pseudo dogs are blind. Uh, chimeras are not. Either way, we have a pistol and we're not going to go anywhere near them because that would be suicide. Hooray for suicide! Wait, no, that's the wrong word. Anyway, this is one of Wolf's guys. Hey. Hello, sir. Don't mind me, just looking up your nose. Hello, Wolf's already sent word of you. Uh, yes, how many bandits do we have? Seven or eight. Two by the gate, two more by the building, and one right by the fire. Let's go, round up your men. Oh, crap, we're being attacked. Uh, I think whatever got attacked just died. Now, we could wait for the cover of darkness to do this, um, which would be, of course, the realistic, sensible option, but we're not going to do it realistically or sensible, because we're going to go and run down and go murder some people. Hooray! That's the plan anyway. Um, whether it works or not is another matter entirely. 
hear them. Right. Now, because I've got on hell difficulty, I can only take a few shots of damage, but in the same sense, so can they. So what have we got here? Because we're so weak at the moment, it's best not to go balls deep and uh, go all guns blazing. But that's never to be how it's going to end up. What the hell are wolves people? Oh, they're coming. Normally I say wait for them, actually. Yeah, they're coming. Now, we haven't been spotted yet, so... If we can cap this sucker. Oh, crap. There we go, one down. See, the pistol's extremely effective, we just need to, well, get up close. Now, I think we've got a couple of dudes in here. Let's see what we've got. We'll be using the lean options a lot, by the way. This ain't Call of Duty. We've got to be very careful when we're shooting people. Gotcha. Alright, that's two down. Now, you don't tend to... Oh, crap. You don't tend to get anomalies in buildings, which is always handy. It's a good sort of safe haven. We do have a nasty surprise coming from the zone later called an emission, or a blowout. When we get across the bridge, we get to crap. Now, I've been wounded quite badly here. Where's he gone? Shoot. Now we've actually got some assistance. Ah, crap! Damn it! It's the last thing I needed. Oh, this is going poorly. I've got one guy over there, one guy right in front. Ugh. That's it! And we reload. As you probably noticed, Stalker's not the easiest game in the world, so. Ooh. We need to really be careful what we're doing. But to be honest, this is probably the hardest section of the game, this very first bit, where you don't know really what's going on when you first play. Die, please. And you're chucked up against a huge amount of bandits. Where are my dudes? So I've got to wait for my mates to turn up. While looting what we can. Now, as you can see, I just looted that guy's body, mainly for the fact that it's incredibly useful. Thank you. He dropped a bandage and other such goodies, as well as ammo which we need to survive. This is survival horror after all. Or survival shooter as the developers like to call it. Yeah, take your time gents. Yeah, yeah. You may be wondering, Halloween, where is this uh, horror you keep speaking about? Oh, trust me, this is a horror game. It's uh, full of nasty monsters and other horrific nasties, but we've got to get past the first tutorial section. Yeah, tutorial section. Hear that scream? Yeah, that's not something we're going to run into. Oh, <laughs> quick save! Excuse me. That's one bandit asshole down. He's in that house. And there's one over there somewhere. The problem is, normally you want to have them walk in from one direction, so at least you know where to shoot. The problem we got at the moment is... Ah! They're everywhere. Right. I think we're pretty much done. I think there's only the one left now. Good. Alright. we got one more left. God knows where he is. Either way. Yoink. What's yours is mine, after all. Whoa! Ass. Right, as you can see, I am bleeding on the side there, so I use that bandage I picked up to not die. Yes, yes. Basically what that lovely uh, load of uh, Russian was. We're finished. The bad thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's clear. It's fine. Hello, Nimble. I've come to rescue you. Sort of. Probably. You're, he's a very I unlucky fellow. Brother. I could never thank you enough. You sound like Chekhov. You know from the new Star Trek film? Seriously. Hello. Listen, I need that flash drive you were talking about. Yeah, I got it. Uh, it wasn't well hidden. And you ask him thanks. Where did you put it? Oh, I didn't stick it up my ass. Don't worry. Anyway, so you basically say thanks a lot, and that's that. And you can trade with him if he's got anything, which he doesn't. Uh, we can... You can trade to anyone in the game, so that all that stuff we're picking up is really useful. Now, one of the most sensible things to do is to wander around. Kind of Fallout-esque, I suppose. 
although I believe this was first, in that sense, for, rather than Fallout 3, I should say. In terms of going around looting, we want to loot stuff. Let's check and see what we got. Right. Now we can say hello to our friends, who were down there. Oh, a ladder. <laughs> Great. Now I think I looted all these scumbags, so we want to go talk to the guy. Oops. You can hear an anomaly going off there, that's all that explosion is. God knows where Wolf's men got to. Where's the leader? No, just some random dude. Any loot? Any loot? No, we're all good. Hello! Uh, okay, fine. Now, we can head back to Wolf. Shoot. And be careful of anomalies. Ideally, and if we're around fellow stalkers, we want to keep our guns out away because they get very angsty. But, well, because of the hazards of being around dogs and things, it's probably good idea to keep our weapon up. Ah, that's the army over there. They're very friendly chaps. They shoot you on sight. Probably good idea to stay away from them. Oh dear. Ah, dogs are still over there, are they? Yeah. Yeah, we're not going over there, point being. The zone is a dangerous place, after all. By dangerous, I mean it'll probably just end up insta-giving me somehow. Hello, hello, coming through. Don't mind me. Excuse me, excuse me. Running at the speed of light. Woo! It's me, it's me. Jeez. How's it going? I made it at the car park. That's awesome. Here, have a radioactive object. Ah, oh, sweet, thanks. Destroy the ball there. Now, these are side quests you can take. So in this case, I will say, I will take this, I'm up for it. Uh, all you got to do is eliminate a load of animals that have appeared. Sounds easy enough. I agree. Nah, I just going to see if there's anything down here to loot. It probably isn't. Ah, bread, energy drink. And that, believe it or not, is a good find. Wow, I don't know. Yeah, I'll take all that. Sweet. Do you need to find a gun I can use it with. Take everything you can get your hands on. No one ever seems to mind if you steal their shit. So, <laughs> in this case, steal it all. Right then. Let's go say we've done the mission and got the USB drive. Howdy! So you're back. Greetings, marked one. The situation has become clear. It's nice and cryptic. The flash drive. Yoink! Cool. He gave me some money. Got any special Listen, wishes for me? Mark one. I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? After all, find the Strelok, kill the Strelok. Anyway, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. Mm. They say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. That is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Yeah. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelik fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Uh, well, I mean, I'll get my share of our mutual profit. <laughs> so what do you say? Deal? Deal. All right, listen. You mean business, I can see that. And I... I mean... We need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders. We want to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. You see, there's this one area where your brain starts boiling. An eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grants for me, not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something, something major. I'm positive it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. We really need this stuff. You know what I mean? I think I know what you mean. Once you have the briefcase, don't bring it here. Take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to your PDA. 
clear. Gotcha. You'll need to go north through the garbage, then th Anyway, yeah, we know how to go. Now, what we can do here is flog our old suit, because we don't need that anymore. And any extra crap we found, in this case. Uh, let's see, I don't need a grenade. Don't need GPS beacons. Uh, jellyfish artifact. Not particularly useful right now, so we can flog it. Artifacts are something we can equip, and they give us uh, effects. In this case, it gives us some radiation, which is a bad thing, but makes us slightly more bulletproof, if you like. Uh, we don't take as much damage. So, you know, swings around about. Uh, that's what I want to sell. Now, I want a health kit, which is expensive, and I need some bandages, and I'll take as many of those as I can get my hands on. Got a little bit of food. How much the anti rads? <laughs> Not good. How much of the vodka? I'll take a bit of vodka, actually. The vodka basically, um... I'll oh, trade there. Not bad. All right, well... Okay, the vodka basically stops us getting irradiated after we've had a bit of radiation sickness. Good it's supposed to be an old vodka. folk like, law thing where vodka, you know, heals any radiation. 